Hey kids, welcome back to another Cars Showcase. Today I will be showing you my Pixar Cars die cast. I am just showing you my race cars today because I have a lot more that will be coming to be showcased in the future. This is all of the race cars that I have right now. Uh, now I do own a Miguel Camino, Francesco Bernoulli, Max Schnell, and the King, and probably a few more, but those, I can't find them anymore. So those are not gonna be in this showcase, but I do have all of these cars so I've been collecting these my whole life. Some of these are older than me and some of these are not. So let's start with Cars 1. Okay. Here we go. This is the only car, the only race car I have from Cars 1. I did have the King, but... Uh, I don't have him anymore, so this is the only one, the green one. And you can see he's so old that the metal axles inside have rusted. They've oxidized. That's how old he is. He's covered in dents from countless wars that I've sent him through. Uh, you can see he's been abused so hard that his, like, his entire face has been almost removed. Uh, there's a sticker shoved up his mouth. I don't even know what that sticker was. There was a sticker covering his eyeballs before I ripped it off, but you can still see there's still parts of the sticker left. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's had better days, alright? Uh, his wheels are kind of bent. Yeah, I'm not sure where I got this guy. But he was probably... Like, 2006, maybe. I'm not quite sure. I did bring this guy to China. And drove him around the apartment and kind of like busted him up some more uh you can see his wheels are like off colored because they're, they're so old they changed color and also they're crooked and they don't they're both rusted onto the axle so they both turn at the same time they're both like stuck to the axle That, that is one very old car right there. Anyways, moving on to Cars 2. We have Nigel Gearsley. Uh, this is the British car from the World Grand Prix. And, uh, yeah, that's his serial number right there. I don't know if that's important. But, uh, you can, you can take a look at that. Anyways, yeah, he's been through a lot too. Uh, not as much as the the other car. You can see his wheels can still move, but they're like bent. Yeah. Uh, he's the guy who gets like uh he who crashes into the other cars on the second race. If you watch the movie. Anyways, he has World Grand Prix printed on his uh spoiler right there looks very nice it's still it's still there um you can see uh, he's number nine you got the british flag he's very cool oh and you can see there's all in all printed on his uh thing down there anyways moving on next up we have raul Cerule, and this is the French World Grand Prix car. Looks very nice. Uh, he was a, like a super 
good dirt track racer. He beats Francesco at the dirt track section. He also crashes at the second race. Almost everyone crashes at the second race. Uh, yeah. Anyways, he has such a nice color scheme. Everything looks so cool about him. But yeah, this is Raul Cyril. He's pretty cool. He also has World Grand Prix printed right there on his spoiler. So yeah, that's great. Moving on. And now we're getting into Cars 3. So first thing we have from Cars 3 is this thing. Now I'm not sure if this one is from Cars 3 or Cars 1. It kind of looks like it could be from either one. But I did get him during the time when Cars 3 released. So it should be Cars 3. Uh, this is not a new generation racer though, so this guy is obsolete and will be uh, promptly scrapped and replaced during the movie. So if you watch Cars 3, keep an eye out for this guy because uh, he might be like a dead background character. Who knows? But yeah, these guys are like the inferior models who all get fired and then scrapped. Uh during the first part of Cars 3, so he's not really that important, but he does look cool. He's very nice. He's pink He's got his headlights painted on You know this one has not been through war, so he does not have any dents or anything. He's pretty cool And yeah, that's That's this pink car number 36 All right Moving on to this one, Metal Jackson Storm. I don't know if he's the right color. They might have retextured him. I don't know. He looks darker in the movie. This is kind of like just gray. He's black in the movie. But this is the Metal Jackson Storm, so he's actually metal. Uh, if you don't know who Jackson Storm is, he's uh, the bad guy from Cars 3. Well, he's not really even a bad guy, he's just good. He's just good at racing, and he's better than Lightning McQueen, which automatically makes him pure evil. So, that's why he's the bad guy in Cars 3. It's a cool car, they even added a little gas gas hole right there, so he could drink gas out of his butt. Uh, they usually drink gas through their mouth, which is just kind of a bump. You see his mouth, it's not really there it's just kind of a bump so yeah overall this is a great car absolutely fantastic and i got this guy really recently so he does not have any horrible dents or anything which which is a nice touch here's the serial number uh did i get a rare one maybe anyways moving on now we're going into the color changers here is Lightning McQueen, he changes colors, uh, this is not a die cast, this is a color changer, so if you dip him in water, he'll change colors. Right now he's orange, because, I mean, uh, yellow, because he's, uh, if you put him in hot water, he's yellow. But, if you put him in cold water, he'll turn red, like in, act in the actual movie. Anyways, he has light year on his wheels, which which uh, is an Easter egg that Pixar added in. Pixar is such a good company; they they pay such attention to detail. Yeah, he's got the Rusty's logo, so I think this is probably uh, him from Cars One, but he changes color, and I got him pretty recently, so he's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on. We have, as you can see, this is Doc Hudson from the olden days. So, like, before Cars 1, this is what he looked like. And, yeah, he looks very cool. I like his red wheels. Very nice. Anyways, this Doc Hudson changes color from blue to red if you put it in hot water. But right now it's blue because I like the classic blue Doc Hudson. It's very nice. Anyways, one thing about these color changer 
cars is these are i think stickers these are like stickers the printing they're not actually printed on well some of them are but some of them are stickers and they're a bit lighter than usual they're like made out of plastic instead of metal which is fine so i hope you've enjoyed this uh showcase and stay tuned for the next one